Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a sci-fi classic, Robocop, 1987, and its sequel. Get ready for a trip down memory lane as we explore the futuristic world, iconic characters, and the impact of these films. So, grab your popcorn, buckle up, and let's get started. Number 1, Ronnie Cox was born on July 23, 1938 in Cloudcroft, New Mexico, he was 49 years of age when the filming happened, but currently in 2023, he is enjoying his life at the age of 85. Ronnie Cox portrayed the character Dick Jones, the vice president of OCP, a ruthless and ambitious man who is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. He is also a paranoid and manipulative man who is always suspicious of those around him. Number 2, Felton Perry, was born on September 11, 1945 in Chicago, Illinois, United States, at the time of filming, he had reached the age of 42. At 78 years old, he is currently savoring every moment of life. Felton Perry played the character Johnson, an executive at Omni Consumer Products, OCP, the corporation that created Robocop. Johnson is a ruthless and ambitious executive who is determined to make OCP more profitable. He is responsible for the creation of Robocop, which he sees as a way to improve public safety and reduce crime. Number 3, Paul McCrane, was born on January 19, 1961 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. When the filming took place, he was at the age of 26. At 62 years old, he is currently savoring every moment of life. Paul McCrane portrayed the character Emil Antonowski, a member of Clarence Boddicker's gang, a vicious and ruthless criminal who participates in the brutal murder of Officer Alex Murphy, which ultimately leads to Murphy becoming Robocop. Emil is involved in various criminal activities throughout the film, including drug trafficking and other violent acts. Number 4, Cudwood Smith, was born on July 3, 1943 in New Lisbon, Wisconsin, he was 44 years of age when the filming happened, and now in 2023 he is living out the life at age of 80. Cutwood Smith portrayed the character Clarence Boddicker, a crime boss and head of a gang responsible for the ruthless killing of Officer Alex Murphy, who later became Robocop. Boddicker had been suspected of the murders of 31 police officers in the old Detroit area. Number 5, Dan O'Herlihy, was born on May 1, 1919 in Wexford, County Wexford, Ireland, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 68. Sadly in 2005, he passed away at age of 86 in Malibu, California. O'Herlihy died of natural causes, his personal papers are held in the University College Dublin archives. Dan O'Herlihy took on the role of the old man, a ruthless and ambitious businessman who is driven by his desire to revitalize old Detroit into a utopia called Delta City. He is willing to do whatever it takes to achieve his goals, even if it means using violence and corruption. Number 6, Peter Weller, was born on June 24, 1947 in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, he was 40 years of age when the filming happened, and now in 2023 he is living out the life at age of 76. In 2006, Weller married his longtime girlfriend, actress Sherry Stowe, at the Santa Maria Assunta Church in Positano, Italy. Among the guests attending the wedding were Carrie Fisher and Marg Helgenberger. Peter Weller portrayed the character Alex Murphy slash Robocop, a Detroit police officer who was killed in the line of duty and then revived as a cyborg law enforcement officer. Robocop was initially a blank slate, but he gradually began to regain his memories of his former life as Murphy. He also began to develop his own personality and sense of morality. Robocop was a powerful and effective law enforcement officer, but he was also haunted by the memories of his death and the loss of his humanity. He struggled to balance his duty to uphold the law with his desire to be a good person. Number 7, Robert Duca, was born on April 20, 1934 in Stillwater, Oklahoma. At the time of filming, he had reached the age of 53. It is with great sadness that we announce his passing in 2008 at the age of 74 in Los Angeles, California. Robert Duca took on the role of Sergeant Reed, a tough, 
no-nonsense police sergeant who is dedicated to his job. He is also a close friend of Alex Murphy. He is the desk sergeant at the Detroit Police Department, and he is responsible for assigning Murphy to the Special Weapons and Tactics SWAT, team. Reed is initially skeptical of Murphy, but he soon comes to respect him as a skilled and dedicated officer. Number 8, Lee DeBru, was born on May 7, 1941 in La Mesa, California, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 46, but as of now in 2023, he is currently 82 years old. Lee DeBru assumed the role of Sal, a police officer who worked for the OCP police force. He was a member of the Tactical Support Unit, TSU, and he was known for his violent and aggressive methods. He was a skilled police officer, but he was also ruthless and violent. He was willing to do whatever it took to get the job done, even if it meant breaking the law. Number 9, Rick Lieberman was born on May 10, 1950 in New York City, New York, he had reached the age of 37 when he participated in the filming. And now in 2023, he is making the most of his life at 73 years old. Rick Lieberman portrayed the character Walker, the head of OCP's Special Weapons and Tactics, SWAT, team, and he is responsible for overseeing the development of Robocop. Walker is a tough and ruthless officer who is not afraid to bend the rules to get the job done. He is also a skilled tactician and a capable fighter. Number 10, Nancy Allen, was born on June 24, 1950 in the Bronx, New York, while filming, she was at the stage of being 37 years old, and now in 2023 she is living out the life at age of 73. Nancy Allen played the character and Lewis, a Detroit Police Department. DPD, officer who is partnered with Alex Murphy. Lewis is a tough and capable officer who is loyal to Murphy and his mission to protect the city. Lewis is Murphy's partner when he is murdered by Clarence Boddicker and his gang. She is then partnered with Robocop, and the two of them work together to bring Boddicker to justice. Number 11, Calvin Jung, was born on February 17, 1945 in New York City, New York, USA, he had reached the age of 42 when he participated in the filming. But as of now in 2023, he is currently 78 years old. Calvin Jung played the character Steve Min, a member of Clarence Boddicker's gang, and he is one of the most ruthless and sadistic members of the group. He is first seen in the getaway truck with the rest of the gang after they rob a bank. He is later seen at the warehouse where Boddicker and his men kill Murphy's partner, and Lewis. Min is one of the men who shoots Murphy in the head, leaving him for dead. Number 12, Ray Wise, was born on August 20, 1947 in Akron, Ohio, when the filming took place, he was at the age of 40, and now in 2023 he is living out the life at age of 76. Ray Wise portrayed the character Leon Nash, a member of a gang led by Clarence Boddicker. Leon Nash is shown to be violent and ruthless, participating in various criminal activities and aiding Boddicker in carrying out his plans. Thanks for joining me in exploring the futuristic world of Robocop, 1987, and its sequel. If you found this journey as thrilling as a cyborg chase, remember to like and subscribe. Leave your favorite sci-fi film suggestions below. Until next time, stay cinematic.